Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve this classic Sudoku from the Sudoku Grand Prix Round 5 from Switzerland by placing marks in the grid. I'll show you all my tips, tricks, and strategies as I do it. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. Okay, let's look here at the ones. I see a one here in column one and three, so we can solve one there. Two spots for a one right here, I can make that mark. Let's look at the twos. Uh, I see two twos, and there are not enough restrictions there with the twos to do anything else. Let's look at the threes. I have one three, two threes, three spots for a three in block there. I'm not going to make a mark there. Two spots for a three here in block four. So I will mark that, and we'll move on to the fours. All right, fours I can solve for four right here because of the four in column three and rows one and two, which means now two spots for four in block four. And then cut across, and I have two spots for four right here. So this is now called a pointing pair, right? Because the four is coming down column four and row eight. So now the fours are limited to column five and block eight. So now fours cannot be here or here. They have to be in one of these three spots here in um, block five. Nice, nice. Good to see that pointing pair there. And then the fives, three spots there. I don't see anything. Sixes, let's look. Six, six, okay, I see a pointing pair of sixes right here. See how the six comes across row six, and then down column two, that means it comes across, and now the sixes are limited to these three spots here in block five. And in case you're wondering, these are called Snyder notation marks, which means there's only two spaces in block four where a six can be, so if you solve one of these cells, the other one I can immediately solve for a six. All right, let's move on to the sevens. Um, I can solve for a seven here because of the sevens all coming from all four different directions and then we're going to create some more restrictions on the outer blocks three spots three spots okay can't do any more seven solving to look for the eights and eight eight okay I got another pointy pair of eights right here this is nice and this is going to help us uh, with the eight because you see how the eight comes across row eight and then down column three so they have to be in these two spots here in block seven comes up and they have this eight cut across so three spots uh, for an eight up there, but that helps with the restrictions as well. And then I'm looking at other spots where an eight, oh, I can actually solve for an eight down here, uh, which now solves that. And we actually can put an eight in the block. Very nice. Okay. Uh, and then for the nines, I see one nine, I don't, and I see another nine right here. So two spots for a nine, we can make that mark, and three spots for a nine up there. So we can't do anything else with the nines. Uh, but now that we've made some more solves, I'll look to see if there's more restrictions here. And sure enough, there is. Now I can actually solve for a one up here in block two, and then two spots for a one here in block five. So the Sudoku Grand Prix, you're not familiar, it's a round the world international contest, and they have uh, each round, uh, countries are submitting puzzles, and they have classics, but they also have some variation puzzles. Well, these are the classics I've picked out. Uh, there was five different classic puzzles for round five it was held in Switzerland from May 13th to 16th of 2022. Uh, next round, round six, South Korea, June 10th to 13th. Then round seven is July 8th to 11th in the Netherlands. And they finish up round eight, August 5th to 8th in the United States. There's some very specific rules. I'll let you read up on that. Uh, there's people who are doing this online and person. Uh, my understanding, I haven't been to it before. And then from there, they get rated on their score, how quickly they do it. Uh, certain and of course they like, you know uh, certain other criteria I'll let you check out the link I'll put in below in the description and you can get more about it but I feel this is very interesting because you get some really cool puzzles uh, one of the thing about these puzzles they want to make them hard but not necessarily extremely difficult uh, the higher puzzles you get more points for but they usually require some kind of advanced strategy we're talking like an X wing X Y wing uh, maybe a skyscraper you know, some or W wing, something like that. So that I'm expecting that since this is a round, uh, this is puzzle number four, it was worth a little bit more points than the other uh, easier puzzles. Okay, ones, 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 uh, two spots for one right here. And so what you got now is you see how there's, there's two ones here and there's two ones here. I will highlight that to kind of show you this is a very common setup. Once you see this kind of setup, it looks like an X-Wing, and it is. One's got to be here or there, there, or there, right? They're limited in block three and nine. 
Well, what it means is that the one in block six has to be in this column eight. You see there's a one coming across here, so we can solve for one right there. Uh, and so because it's kind of like a claiming pair lock can, it has to be in this column. So we always look out for that. And then we, now we can solve for this one right there. And we are well on our way with the ones. Okay, so going back and doing some cleanup has really helped us with this puzzle. Other things I can see, looks like the fives are now a pointing pair right there because there's five cutting across uh, row four. So now it's a pointing pair. There's a five coming at column six. So the fives are limited to these two spots in block five. And now uh, they limited these two spots here in uh, block two. Great. So making great progress here. And looking down to fives, five, three spots are five, so can't solve that. All right. And so I've kind of cut through this puzzle a couple of times. And now the sixes are limited to two spots right there because of these pointing pair of sixes. I didn't make that mark before. And what else can I see? So now I'm going to look here whether I see some more restriction. And you can see is we got two spots for an eight right there. All right. Uh, because now the eight's in columns four and five. And I can actually solve for an eight right here because of this eight and that eight. Because once I solve that eight, I should be able to go right back up and solve that for an eight, which means this has to be an eight and that has to be a one. And then we can get rid of that mark and solve that for one. See how quickly that works? So let's cut across. Now we made that solve. What does that give us? We got all the ones done. Do we have all the eights done? Uh, we will soon because that has the only place left for an eight in block six, which means that has to be an eight and get rid of that mark. Sweet. And so when you make a quick solve like that, so now you want to look and say, okay, what did this do for our grid? What do we have left in here? We're looking for a four. And we're looking for a five and a nine. You see the four coming down here. So now the fours are a pointing pair. Uh, and since you have a four come across row eight, there's only one spot left for a four here in block nine. So I can solve that for a four. And which means that is no longer a four. This has to be a four right here. And which now gives us a point, you know, restriction in fours here in block five. Nice. And so let's look here. I cut across and we're missing just a seven and a six. So that has to be the seven because I can see the seven right there. And, scar and mark that for a six. Two spots for a six up here. We'll make that mark. Uh, so far, puzzles come across really nice. In the seven and the seven, two spots for a seven right here. And remember, there was a lot of restrictions with these sevens. And so we're getting close to figuring out all the sevens as well. Nice. All right. And so now you want to go say, okay, where's the next greatest restriction? I'm kind of looking down here in block eight. And so we need a three. We need a six and a nine. Okay, I see nine. I'm actually going to deviate and just put in a three six right there. This has got to be your six nine because I see a three coming down. Um, but it's also going to create a pointing pair of threes. We love these pointing pairs, don't we? And then three looks like a three six nine. Three six nine. Okay, so we have a pointing pair of threes. It means that the threes are now limited to these two spots down here in block seven. And three three two spots for three there. No other restrictions on the threes, but that's good to know because now, you know, any one of these can be a three. Uh, I want to look now and see where I can get some more restrictions going on. I'm kind of now looking across row three, right? So there's only two spots left. So we need a two and a three. There's your three. So that's got to be your two. That's got to be your three. And sure enough, once I find that restriction, now I can mark that three and solve it, which means now this has to be a three. And once I solved that for a three, I got rid of the four that was there, which means I know I can solve that for a four, which makes this a four, which makes that a five, and this is a nine. Pretty cool, huh? And since we solved those fours, that has to be a four. We can get rid of this mark of a four. Great. And so then we have two spots left here, right? Uh, two and a six. I can see a two down there in column four. So that's got to be your six. That's got to be your two. And then we have two spots left. We're looking for a five and a nine. I don't think we can solve that yet. So we're going to go five, nine. But we can come over here. We know we can solve this cell. It has to be a two. And then what's left here? Six and a nine. I uh, can't solve that one yet either. But we're going to mark those sixes and nines. I'll get rid of these extra blocks there because once I see the, 
the naked pairs, it's pretty easy for me to keep focused on that. But we made a lot of great restriction in selling. So 3.6 here means this has to be a 3.6 as well. So that's all that's left. 5.6.9 up there. So that's got to be a 5.6. And what are we looking at? 3.5.6. So we have a 6. So that's a 3.5.59. Five, three, five, five, uh, this 6, no matter, uh, no matter, uh, doesn't matter anymore, right? Um, so I look and we solve that. And so you got a 3. Six nine three five six up there, okay. And let's look here on column three. Looking at two six nine, I got a nine in block seven. So two six nine two nine six nine two six. A lot of triples going on here. So two six nine, or what's in here? Two six two five six. So this has got to be your five six, and this has got to be your two five. This is interesting. You see how there's so many restrictions, but now see the, these five right here are a pointing pair of fives. That's going to be key because now we know the fives have to are restricted here. Row eight, block seven means these can't be five. There's that five coming down. This has to be five, which is going to help us solve five, five, five. And then uh, let's look up here. So two five. This has to be also a two five. And what do we got over here? Uh, five, six, nine, five, six, seven, nine. So five, seven, nines up here. All right, can't solve that yet. Um, let's look for our other spots restrictions. Two, six, nine. This has to be a two, nine. This has to be a two, nine. Okay, we're going to about finish the grid here without finishing the solve. That's interesting. So two, seven, nine here. That's a seven, nine, and this is a two, seven. We know the sevens are restricted there. Okay, two, nines there. All right, and what do we have up here? Two, three, seven. Two, three, seven. Can't make any more solves than that. And then what we have right here? Seven, uh, six, seven, nine. It looks like so. Six, seven, nine. So I fill out the grid, but we still haven't solved the puzzle. So there's got to be some kind of advanced technique strategy required to solve this. So what is going to be that advanced strategy? Two, nine, two, nine, two, five. To five, that's interesting. I feel like six. Uh, what can we solve? Five, six, six, nine, nine, two, two, six, six, five. Okay, so I see an x, y chain. I'll just show you what I just figured out. It may not be the quickest solve, but it gets you somewhere. So you start right here. I'll put a link to my x, y chain tutorial right now. You want to check it out. So you're looking at a lot of buy value cells. So this five has a strong link with the six, right? Five to the six, six to the nine, nine to the two, two to the six, six to the five. And we'll end up in this cell right there. And what that means is either a five right here, if that's not a five, then that'd be a six, that'd be a nine, that'd be a two, that'd be a six, that would be a five, right? So we know a five can't be in either spot that sees both of these cells. So a five cannot be right there. So we can eliminate a five from right there. And what does that do for us? Well, now you got a two nine and a two nine. Um, that could actually be a seven. And maybe I missed this pair earlier. But now you get rid of those sevens. It cleans up the grid pretty nicely. And it still got the two nine, two nine. So that actually can't be a two either. That has to be your three. And we can get rid of that three. All right. So we have a two seven there. Let's see, three. Threes are limited to these two spots. Uh, we solve that for seven, so you have five, six, nine, okay, two, nine, five, six, six, nine, okay, that can't be a nine anymore, so that's your six, and that's your five, okay, now the puzzle is going to start coming apart, nine, five, let's work our way down here, six, and we know we can solve all this stuff, six, three, nine, easy peasy, right, and so once you get to six, two, Five, six. We know each of these little naked triples are going to be able to solve right away. Nine, seven, two, seven, six, seven. So that has to be a nine. That's got to be a two. That's got to be a nine. All right. And so this is the only place left for a five. Nine, six, two. Oh, I got a five in row two. So that's got to be a three. And that's got to be your six. 
Check out these other great videos from my channel. If you want to see some more great solving involving the Sudoku Grand Prix, don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much for watching.